Well, hi, this is Custom Works. I'm Clint Allen, and today we're talking about the barometric sensor or the barrow sensor. If uh, you have a 99 and below, stick around. If you got a 99 and above, well, <laughs> you really want to stick around. Well, thanks for sticking around through that. If you're new here, join the family and go through my video selection in my library for more extensive information on other sensors and power stroke information. We're forever building a library that you don't have to be farting around on uh, YouTube of people making videos in their driveway with their telephones and you don't need to be sitting on the computer with diesel forms that don't get a whole lot answered. So today we're going to be covering the barometric or borrow sensor in the Power Stroke 7.3 and this is going to be covering uh, basically 1994 and a half all the way up to 2003. So if you have a production date of 12.6 of 98 and below, the borrow sensor is going to be underneath the dash of the vehicle and in the background is going to be a picture of what it is and a picture of where it's located. If you have a post of that year, basically 99 and above, yours is located in the PCM and we'll get to that. The barometric pressure borrow sensor is a variable competence sensor used to determine the altitude of the vehicle. It controls the timing control, uh, injector timing, fuel quantity for optimizing the engine operation so it controls the smoke and the altitude condition and also through the map sensor. They all kind of work together there. Now it also controls the glow plug, uh, determines on how long that's going to stay on and calculates the off time also. In higher altitudes the glow plug on time is increased to reduce the startup smoke. The codes that you're going to experience is going to be in a range of which is not even on the code sheets but anything that covers a P105, 106, 107, 108 or 109 is an indication that there is a problem with the borrow meter sensor and that you'll also sometimes get a code in there with the map sensor as well. So the borrow meter is going to be the issue because the map sensor would throw its own code and it wouldn't involve the borrow meter code. The build date once again is 12-6 of 1998. Anything below that is going to have it underneath the dash. Anything above that it's going to be in the computer and if it's in the computer guess what? You're going to have to pull that computer out and get it rebuilt. There is no way of replacing that part within that computer. It's going to have to be replaced. Yeah, that sucks. This very rarely ever happens, so you'll be happy to know that. Basically, we don't even test this. We don't even fart around. If we get those codes, basically a borrow signal that is detected outside of the range, whether it's high or low, the PCM will actually go into a default. It's going to ignore it and it's going to use the map sensor instead to generate the information that it needs for idling and also for smoke control and it's also going to control the injection and the glow plug as well. 
but not as detailed as with the borrow sensor. Now, if you're getting a borrow sensor code and you've got a tune in the computer, first thing you want to do is pull it back to the factory tune, go wipe the code out, start the vehicle again, drive it, and see if it comes back. A lot of time what happens is, is that in these flash code systems that uh, are out on the market, sometimes it causes situations within that computer to not completely understand what's going on due to piss poor programming from the you know, company that provided that tuning package. But if you have the 99 and below within the date that I had just previously discussed, uh, you just go underneath the dash, pull it out, put the new one in, and 99 and above, of course, you're going to be down for a little bit because you got to pull the computer out, send it in for a rebuild or replacement. Now, once your new borrow meter is installed, doesn't make a difference if it's pre-99 or post-99, and you've got everything plugged in the way it should be, everything is operating in the truck, and it throws the code again, go and wipe the computer, wipe the codes off the computer, and then, and listen closely here, remove both the negative and the positive leads from both batteries, leave it set 15 minutes, reconnect them, start it up, and that usually solves that problem from that code coming back why Ford had this problem in their PCMs, whether it's post or over 99. Not quite sure, have never got an answer for that, but that is the way of doing it. If the code does come back again, well, either you've got a bad sensor again or the wire leading up to it in the pre-99 is gonna be the issue. But basically, this is a quick one. This is an easy one, and you take it easy, and you have a good day. We're still here yet? It's over. Oh, I know. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, and that'll tell you when my next video comes up. Until then, go home.